Christians for working people. Paul Martin, on the other hand, was in Toronto trying to save liberal cabinet ministers from New Democrats. On Thursday, I was on Vancouver Island working to defeat conservatives. Because they're wrong. It's that simple. What was Paul Martin doing? Well, on Thursday, he was in Mississauga trying to save some right-wing, what we call Harper liberals. <laughs> These are the ones who voted with the conservatives in the last parliament on equality issues. And they're promising to do it again. And Mr. Martin said they're defending them. A picture is beginning to emerge here. <laughs> Yesterday, I was campaigning against conservative incumbents in the lower mainland of British Columbia. <laughs> because they're wrong. <laughs> is that going to be me? <laughs> We're just being right. <laughs> Liberals from Eastern Ontario and New Brunswick. And tonight, I'm here in London campaigning to defeat both Liberals and Conservatives. They know that we will stand up to conservatives. that's elected will stand up each and every day for working families. <laughs> they won't be fair weather friends to working people, promising one thing in an election and then turning right around, as Paul Martin did last time, to give out a great big juicy corporate income tax cut to profitable large companies. <laughs> It was the NDP that said, no, that money needs to go to the things that people need, to the environment, like public transit. Yeah. Yeah. So the on homelessness by building affordable housing in communities. when there's a bankruptcy. We're not increasing foreign aid like we should be doing. Now, people know that in the next parliament, the NDP is going to fight to protect public health care. We will not allow it to be privatized. work hard to get education and training for young people, and they know that we're going to work to make sure there's care for our seniors. So, Paul Martin is wrong when he says that you've got to, he doesn't quite put it this way, to give him credit. But he's suggesting there's only two choices. And we're saying Canadians don't have to choose between corruption and conservatives. <laughs> they can pick the NDP, which is a better choice. <laughs> now, on Monday, 
millions, millions and millions of Canadians are going to be going to the polls, and they're going to be asking themselves, who can we trust to stand up for us, for working families, in this next parliament? And that's, a, that's the question that's on their mind. And I think that they're going to say to themselves, it's the NDP that we can trust. Because we laid, out, we laid out a plan which says essentially this. First of all, we're going to make sure we look after our seniors because they built this country and they deserve it. also said that we're going to make sure there's hope and opportunity for young people by making sure there's education and training that's affordable for working families. And we are going to act to stop the spread of credit card for-profit medic medical services in this country because we believe in Medicare where we all look after each other and have Step number one in doing that is to turn the Liberals out. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give them the boot. <laughs> now, with your support, we're going to have more Democrats on your side in the next parliament. And what a wonderful team! of members of parliament to be we have right here on this stage. Let's be very clear about Mr. Martin is trying to perpetrate one of those liberal frauds in this election. He's hoping that you not another one. That's right. He's hoping you'll reward him one more time with your vote. We, we have done it, but it's not working this time, Paul. I'm sorry to have to report to you that despite your efforts yelling at microphones that people have only one choice, they've got to vote for the Liberals or the end of the earth is going to be upon us. Uh, the fact is people aren't responding to that message. He says you have no choice. People said, oh, yes, we do. Hold your nose as you go into the ballot box and, you know, get out your pencil and, and vote liberal again. <laughs> I don't think Canadians want to hold their nose when they go in and vote. I think they want to hold their head up high. That's right. That's right. That means voting for what they believe in. It means voting for a voice for them and their families. It doesn't mean being pushed around by a party that breaks its promises. People have a third option, it's a better choice, and it's to vote for the NDP. Want to call it the first option? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, there are some people who have voted their vote in the past. They had hopes and dreams too. They've been dashed really by the Liberal Party. They're disappointed in what they've seen. And so I say this to Canadians who have voted Liberal in the past. At this time, in this election, here in London and right across Ontario, if you want to defeat the scandalous corrupt liberals. If you want the Conservatives to be balanced out in some way in this next House of Commons, then it's very clear what you want to do. If you want an MP who will stand up for you, for working families, for your parents and grandparents, 
and for your kids and young people, then you should vote, join with us and vote for an NDP MP in the House of Representatives. to lend us your vote this one time. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. We won't let you down. Mes chers consoeurs, mon frère, M. Martin demande aux Canadiens sur qui, sur qui ils peuvent compter pour tenir tête aux conservateurs. Les Canadiens connaissent nos positions. Ils savent que nous leur tiendrons tête tout le temps. This time, in this election, vote for a strong, experienced team of the Democrats. Vote for these candidates, support them, and they will work for you each and every day, starting first thing on Tuesday morning. Do it for working families. Do it for the principles and the priorities that Tommy Douglas of NDP MPs have always done where they've made sure that the issues of working families were front and center in the House of Commons. And we can do that again. And that's our mission. <laughs> and on Monday, Canadians get to choose who will represent them in the next parliament. The Liberals don't deserve to be rewarded with your vote. That's no problem. The Conservatives' priorities are wrong for working families. So there's this better choice. This better choice. And put working families first where they should be. Now, I need you all to get to work on this project. I know you've been working on it quite hard. But now you're going to take all the work you've done, package it up, double it, triple it, and do it all again in the next two days.